Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the 15th to the 12th of November. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. So please take what does and leave what doesn't. So let's get right in there. Let's see the overall energy for this week. Let's have a look. Oh, we have the chariot. Nice. Okay. Let's see what's been going on recently for you guys. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles followed by the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Ooh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Aries. Much success. Much success. Wow. I mean, if this is an abundance, I don't know what is. This is amazing. Very, very, very powerful start. I mean, the overall picture is the chariot, you know, and we have the ace of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and ten of pentacles. This is, um, I don't know if you guys won the lottery, because <laughs> these cards are very much aligned to um, a lot of uh, material success. Um, but combined with also a lot of um, beautiful, strong love. I, if you guys um, have started a business uh, of somewhat, uh, it's, it's definitely going in the right direction. Um, there is a huge offer here with Ace of Pentacles, some great abundance of this huge opportunity uh, that has come to you. It's been very fulfilling, very... Um, it's, it's made you so aware and positive. There's a great sense of positivity here. It's really strong. Um, I think, I feel like you've been given a, a big chance to do something, whether that's in your, in your job, um, to like prove yourself. And if it is that, then, you know, people are definitely um, seeing that someone that possibly has the potential to give you a raise of some sort. I mean, you're going upwards, that's for sure, with money. That's really, really good. Here with the Nine of Pentacles, it gives you this, this pleasure to be able to feel a lot more free and independent and enjoy um, what you're getting. And here with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like this, um, this sort of freedom from anything tying you down of some sort, you know. So there is, um, in terms of that, if you guys are planning on doing something of some sort of investment or, or whatnot, it's like uh, definitely going in the right direction. Here with the chariot, it does say that things are going in the right direction. Um, with love, um, it's, it, it's, it's bountiful. Bountiful love is what I get here. There's been some sort of connection that has, that has um, come around it's so, like here with the Ace of Pentacles, it's just such a positive, bright card. And it's like, um, you're also enjoying where, you, where you're at right now with your life. Um, there's a lot to be thankful for. There's a lot to be grateful for. This connection here around you also, here with the Ten of Pentacles, it's a great, great card for love here, the Ten of Pentacles. There is something... Um, within that person in you, a connection where you know you guys can uh, really build things together and create something very harmonious, a harmonious home, a, a harmonious future. Um, and there's just a lot of prosperity here. Your love is becoming prosperous as well as your money. So let's see what's been going on recently. Oh, the three of wands. Okay. I mean, currently. Currently, okay, the strength card, all right, followed by the devil. So in the current position, we have the three of one strength and the devil. So after this, this sort of momentous, momentous feeling and, and, and this such great positivity, um, you know, you're finding yourself now kind of looking ahead and you, you you know you're on the verge you're on the edge of you something big happening uh your life is changing your life is changing and you're sort of holding on to something one offer knowing that you have other offers also or other pathways to go um and here with the strength card it's saying you know don't 
uh, uh, try to if you, if you're doubting or worrying it's saying that you know there's no need just have that strength ha have that courage and believe in the path that you're taking because you can make it happen you can absolutely make it happen and i i do feel like there's a big um major uh, you know, change happening in, in the course of your life um and it's just sort of um you know saying that it, it's it take take that chance take that risk but here with the devil card you could be overthinking things here with the devil card you could be really overthinking things and when you overthink things it could create some sort of blockages um, and obstacles in the way so if that does happen you just sort of okay ten of cards just came out um, yeah that that's strongly related um, you know the the challenges here with the devil represents um, things that possibly uh, ha have stemmed from fear, fear of this huge change because you're enjoying it. But when you know that, um, you know, there's someone there and you want that change, you can also be afraid of it. So try not to manifest um, that doubt that turns into negativity, if that makes sense. Um, and then here with the Ten of Wands, you know, it's telling you that um, you're getting there. You're getting there. So this challenge or obstacle has gotten in the way. You are about to completely pass it. You've removed. You're removing whatever has been in the way, and you're just completely um, ready to move on. Here with the Knight of Pentacles, yes, and then stability does come in. There's so much change happening in your life, and so uh, bountiful and beautiful. So don't be afraid of it. I and mean, sometimes when we know so much success is coming. Um, sometimes we're not sure what to do with it. Here with Knight of Pentacles, um, I think now you're starting to go a little bit slower within this connection that you have, this relationship. There's something very deep um, with this other person I'm sensing. It's very, very deep. And, and they want to make sure that it's going in the right direction, as are you. Very much so. So the Knight of Pentacles, it's, you know, although it may be slow, but it's stable, it's strong. It's strong, you know, um, you're, you're building a good foundation. Okay, then we have here the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, oh, swords. It's interesting why you said cups. Maybe there's something there. Um, uh, the Six of Swords could be, you know, you're, you're finally deciding to move into that direction where things were happening in the beginning um here with the three of wands uh, choosing a path and here with the six of swords you're finally going on today you no longer want to um be in that sort of negative uh, frame of mind and you are definitely passing it oh, okay we have here the justice card justice and then the hangman yeah okay this is good this is good aries and then the Page of Swords. Um, so in terms of signs, by the way, you could be very much dealing with an Earth sign. So it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. There's a lot of that. Maybe some uh, Fire signs also um, with Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, well, your own. Here, Justice card. So definitely things are starting to balance out. You found a really good pace for yourself. The Justice card is bringing in that um, clarity also and everything that needs to get done in order for you to move on with this big venture that is coming along. Um, and then the Hanged Man is, you know, it's starting to release at the right time. Things that you sort of held back, it's coming forward. This person is also very much coming forward here with the Page of Wands. Um, and it's exciting and it's fresh and it's beautiful. Beautiful, um, and it's I, I I get the sense that um, you know it's still very much in the learning process, you know, understanding each other, wanting to see more of each other, of uh, you know, understanding who that other person is, and you are a lot more going into greater depths. Okay, so let's look into the angel guide oracle deck here that I have. Let's see what what they have for you. Any messages? Oh, self-acceptance. I love that. Self-acceptance. What else do we have? Romance and connection. Perfect. Perfect. And one more. One more, please. And we have blessings and abundance. This is absolutely perfect to what I was saying. Um, Self-acceptance, you know, believe in yourself. 
um, have less doubt. Here, romance and connection, there is a deep connection. I was talking about the angels are saying that, yes, you know, this is happening. There's something very soulful and beautiful, blessings and abundance. And work money-wise, it's going to go beautifully for you. And there are lots of blessings here. It's just wonderful, Aries, really. I love how the angel cards have come and basically confirmed everything that uh, this reading has 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 said so um that's wonderful i really hope that this resonated with you aries i hope you enjoyed it and i very much look forward to the next reading thank you so much